this video I'll show you how to do some sound effects. Okay, so I have a sound effect that I want to sound when like the lights go on. So I go to audio adjustments. Alright, take that back. I'm going to clip adjustments. And then I want it to sound more full. So I just scroll through all the sound effects that are there. And this one, you can't hear it, but the pitch down 30 sounds the best. So then I'm lining it up and it matches the video. And the next sound effect is the stadium crowd applause. And I want that to um, fade out when I am done playing it. So I'm going to click the fade out and adjust it so it starts fading out at one second left. And then you just kind of play it back. Like I said, you can't hear it now. But it does fade out at one second. This video will be dealing mainly with sound recordings. So first you hit that little music note on the middle right of the page. And iMovie automatically has sound effects you could use. I already found one I liked named Super Stare, And I'm going to put that in for the whole entire clip. Now I'm going to adjust the volume adjustments just for now under audio adjustment. I did this just so you could be able to hear the other sound effects as I put them in. And now I have another little sound effect that I want and it's called heartbeat. And that's underneath iMovie sound effects. There are so many sound effects that you could use and browse through. I'm just not going to take the time to show you them all. Again, sorry that you can't hear them, the sound. I'm adjusting my sound effects my sound effect and I'm trying to put it where I think it would sound the best which I decided it was more towards the middle now it's really quiet and you can't quite hear it so I'm going again to audio first I'm gonna start with the clip adjustment now it's really soft and it's kind of hard to hear so we're gonna make it have a different effect maybe make it louder and so I'm browsing through the bottom of the sound effects and I think pitch up sounds a little better it gives it a more higher sound so you can hear the, the beats a little better and then we go to audio adjustment and I'm going to click on the ducking to reduce the volume of the other tracks and this just makes the other sound effect that I have go under it so you can hear the heartbeat a little better and then I'm just going to increase the volume just to be sure now before you do anything just double check and play the clip over Hi, we're going to try and do a split screen because I want two clips playing at the same time. Now I'm going to match this. I already have my first clip in my video. And I'm going to match this clip to the same duration of that one. And I'm going to just slide and drop it on it and hit side by side. This automatically combines the two pictures together. Now I'm going to readjust the clip I just dropped on there so it is on for as long as the other clip is on there. This might take some fine tuning to get it right, especially if your mouse is not working, like in the video. Once you get the clips lined up, You can add a title to it, which is what I want to do. I want to add a title and some text into the duration of the video. Make sure, for my case, I want the title to be for the whole entire time the video, the this clip is playing. So make sure you drop it in there correctly so that the blue is covering the entire clip. And you see how my text goes down to a second line? Well, I don't like that. So you go to show font and make the font size smaller. Mm. 
Now you can play your video and see how it is a split screen and we got two things going at once. Hooray! You are reaching the end of your project. Now you may find that some of your sound effects aren't working when you have multiple different sound effects. So for my purpose, I had to export it, my videos all mushed together before I could add the final sound effect over the top. And I will show you how to export in this video. So as you can see, all my videos are combined together. So all I had to do is add the final sound effect. Now I'm going to go to the top to share and go to export using QuickTime. QuickTime is just a personal preference, I guess. I feel like it's a little easier to use. So then you can hit the drop down arrow and click where you want to save it. For my purpose, I want to be saving it in the media technology folder underneath football highlights. Rename your project as you may. I'm just calling mine football highlights final project. And then you go to save because you see all the other settings are just the way you want them to have. So go to save. And then it just starts exporting. And this may take a while. So this would be a good time to find something else to do.